So up to this point, now we know the following statements about square roots of real numbers. That all positive real numbers have two number square roots. Zero has one number square root. All negative numbers have two complex square roots or two, excuse me, imaginary numbers, if you would. So example, 20, negative 25 has two complex number square roots or two imaginary, really. I'm gonna change that to imaginary. Two imaginary square roots of five i and negative five i. Um, we call five i the principal square root, but we're really not gonna use that definition in this class. It's just kind of a, hey, tidbit, like a fun fact, if you would. So now some examples of just using and getting used to imaginary numbers. So first off with imaginary numbers, must take out i first. Okay, so from all of the, these, if you have a negative under the square root, you have to take the i out, the version of i first. So like here for this one, this is just negative, or excuse me, I lied to you. That is 4i plus 5i, right? Because the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of negative 1 is i, because you're envisioning it like negative 1 times 25, and so you're pulling them out separately. So this would be the square root of negative 1 times 16 and how we are getting 4i plus 5i, which is equal to 9i. Here with this one, we've got i root three times g times i root three, which rearranged, we have two i's, which is i squared, times two root threes, so that's root three squared, and then times g. But we know i squared is negative one, root three squared is three, and g is g. So all in all, we've got negative three g. Isn't that so cool? So something that has two imaginary numbers can pull out to be a negative number. I think that's so cool. Think about it. They were imaginary and they just become a negative. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. All right, pause the video and try these next two. So up next, this can be thought of very similar to the second one. Think of it as having three, or it is, having three square root negative five. So then this is i root five times i root five times i root five so there's two here, so that's i squared times root five squared times i root five. Remember i squared is negative one. Root five squared, the root and the square undo each other. Oh, you can't see, sorry. So here i squared root five squared, i root five, that's just the leftover third one. So the square root of five squared is just five and then times i root five, because that can't be simplified any further, we just get negative five i root five, and that's it. And here for all of these, since we're just simplifying, they don't have to be put into squiggly braces, or excuse me, squiggly brackets or braces, because it's not an answer to anything, it's just simplifying. Now here, again, I want you to split it into two parts first. So this would be negative six over three plus negative root, to me, root negative three over three. But this is just negative two. I'm gonna pull out the i, right? Because that's what we do first. And now that's all we can do. That's as far as we go. So again, you're gonna have more homework problems on this, but this should help you get the ball rolling. If you have any questions, email me or talk to Math Cats or you know, do some Googling. Um, but again, I'm here to help. I literally get paid to help you. So please don't hesitate to reach out.